Hey, what's up, everybody? This is David Cutter here. This is going to be my horror haul for January and February. Let's begin. First up we have here is the 40th Anniversary Collector's Edition, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, packed with special features. Uh, it comes with two Blu-rays and two DVDs. Uh, the main thing for me was the transfer. I had the privilege of watching this over at my sister's house on a 4K television, and the transfer was just really nice. Um, I felt like I was in the theater watching this movie, which was pretty cool. So, yeah, this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 40th Anniversary Collector's Edition. Next up, we have the Synapse release of Demons, um, one of my favorite demon movies of all time. I uh, can't wait to get uh, Demons 2. I really like the cover art they put for Demons 2 for the Synapse release. I know there's some real nice steel books out there for Demons 1 and 2, but they're pretty pricey, and I believe they're out of print. So, yeah, that's Demons. Next up, this is a horror movie I grew up on, probably one of the first horror movies i ever seen, and that is uh, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, put out by Scream Factory. Um, and this is my favorite movie in the franchise. I know Michael Myers isn't in it, but I grew up on this movie. Um, been after this edition for a while. I like the fact that they went to the filming locations on the extras and um, pretty cool featurette with the director, Tommy Lee Wallace. Next up, got this one because it was cheap and it was a steel book. Um, it's a Rob Zombie film. It's uh, The Lord of Salem. Um, I like this movie. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but it was only 10 bucks at Target, so I was like, what the hell, I'll pick it up. Next up is a pretty good horror anthology. Uh, it's written and directed by George Romero and Dario Argento, and that is a uh, Two Evil Eyes. This was a pretty good horror anthology. It's got uh, Adrian Barbeau, Tom Atkins, John Amos, Surprised to see him in there. And uh, Harvey Keitel. Just two simple stories. Um, they run kind of long for two stories, but that's fine with me. I enjoyed them. Uh, the first one was uh, the case of Mr. Valdemar. It's basically about this man on life support. And his conniving, gold-digging wife is trying to uh, collect inheritance money from him. And the second story is about a crime scene photographer who uh, he just can't stand his wife's cat, this cat that she has took in. And that's basically the uh, the plot of this film. It's pretty good. Um, Tom Savini did the makeup effects in this movie. It has some gore in it. It's got an impalement scene that's similar to the, the impalement scene in Cannibal Holocaust. But this is pretty good. I recommend it. Two Evil Eyes. It's uh, put out by Blue Underground. Next one was a first time watch for me. I thought it could have been a little bit better. And that is Dead and Buried. This is put out by Blue Underground as well. Stars a young Robert England. Um, it was okay, like I said. Uh, the movie kind of reminded me of The Fog at times, probably just because of the setting. Um, it's pretty cool. I guess you could call this a reanimation film. So I guess you could put this in the zombie genre. Um, I like the twist towards the end of the movie, though. That was surprising. Um, but yeah, this is Dead and Buried, put out by Blue Underground. The next up is the ABCs of Death, Part 2. Uh, basically the same thing as the first one. Uh, 26 different stories by 26 different directors. It was okay. The first, uh, the main story I like is the one with the bath salts, and that is Masticate. That's what it's called. And a couple of other of them were pretty cool, but I don't know. I guess the first one kind of was a little bit better. But yeah, this is the ABCs of Death 2. Next up, I got the, the Crazies remake. It was only $5 over at Target. Uh, I figured I'd pick it up. I guess you could put this into an, the infection slash zombie genre. Um, I still need to see the original cut by Jar... Uh, George A. Romero, he directed the original film. Uh, I believe that one's put out by Blue Underground. It goes for pretty cheap on Amazon, so I'll be picking that up soon. But this is the craziest remake. 
Next up, I've I seen is a pretty good creature feature, and this is the, the Beast Within. Um, had the pretty decent kills. My only problem is that I thought they could have showed the Beast a little bit more throughout the film. Um, it was confusing at times for me. I had to watch it again. But uh, it was pretty good. The, the movie paid off toward the end. Uh, I didn't expect the dude to turn into a cicada of all things. I was expecting him to turn into like a werewolf or something. But I enjoyed it. This is the beast put in the beast within. And this was put out by Screen Factory. Last one was the first time watch. And that is the human centipede. This is the unrated director's cut. Uh man, this movie was disgusting and very disturbing. I, I believe they're going to be putting out a part three. I have, I've barely seen the first one, but I don't know, man. This If you have a weak stomach, do not watch this film. Don't watch this film while you're eating. Um, I've, I've heard that people are comparing this to Tusk, and there's no way, man. The, the, the stuff these people go through in this film is just horrible. But, yeah, pretty extreme stuff here. This is the human centipede. Next up, I got a couple of DVDs. Uh, this first one, I'm getting a lot of bad reviews and hate. I thought it was okay. It's not as good as the first two films. And that is VHS Viral. Uh, I didn't really care for the wraparound story. Uh, the story was with the magician was all right. Um, the time machine one was pretty crazy. I liked the one with the skateboard story. The skateboarder story was pretty cool. But I don't know. I think it was just rushed. Uh, hopefully this isn't the last installment. But uh, if not, that's fine. I like the VHS films. At the end of the credits, there's an extra segment for you guys that own this and don't know it yet. At the end of the credits, uh, uh, another segment starts. It's only like 16 minutes long, but just so you know. But yeah, this one, I don't know. It was okay. I just hope this isn't the last VHS movie that they put out. And that's VHS Viral. Next up is another movie that been getting mixed reviews. And that is uh, Tusk, directed by Kevin Smith. Uh, for me, I enjoyed this film. I actually red boxed it before I bought it because uh, I'd been hearing things about it. But I enjoyed it. Uh, it was a bizarre film. At times, it made me laugh. I was probably laughing at stuff that really wasn't supposed to be funny. But uh, I thought it was pretty good, man. Uh, Justin Long did a good job. Um, I didn't care for Johnny Depp's character, that's for sure. And uh, I also got this one because uh, I went for the DVD because it had some embossing on it. I believe the uh, Blu-ray didn't have it like that, so... I'm okay with just getting the DVD. So yeah, this is Tusk. I enjoyed this one. The next one was pretty good too. Uh, one way to describe this film would be the Illuminati. You know, if you guys believe in that stuff, people selling their soul and doing stuff behind the scenes for just to get the fame. And this one is uh, Starry Eyes. Uh, this one was pretty good. It, it kind of picks up towards the second part of the film though. Uh, it's basically about this girl working at a fast food restaurant. She's trying to make it big in Hollywood. So she's uh, auditioning for a film. Um, first, she doesn't make a good impression. And then she goes back. And then she keeps going back for different interviews. She finally gets to meet the director. And after that, everything just goes downhill for her. But uh, there's pretty some pretty brutal scenes toward the end of the film. Um just watch the movie and you see what I'm talking about, man. It's, this girl goes through some crap. And uh, I don't know, man. It's just pretty brutal towards the end. And that chick that comes out on there, her name is uh, Alexandra Esoe. Esso, I don't know how to say her name. But it's pretty good. Uh, it comes in a clear case with reversible cover art. I believe it's only 10 bucks over at Walmart right now. Um, you could get it at Target, too. It goes for a little bit more at Target. But uh, this was Starry Eyes. Last two films I got over at Fry's, man. They're... Oh, man, I don't know. That place is going downhill. Their selection is just getting worse and worse when it comes to horror. Uh, they don't really got that much movies anymore. First up I got is this over-the-top over, to, over the top werewolf movie. 
that is Big Bad Wolf. I uh, got it for only three bucks. This movie was enjoyable. Had some decent gore to it. Um, it was over the top, though, for real. Uh, the werewolf talks for one. Uh, at times, he tries to sound like Freddy Krueger. Uh, there's two parts in the movie where the werewolf is having sex with a woman while in transformation. Um, I believe Clint Howard makes a appearance in this film, and David Naughton from the American Werewolf in London, he plays the sheriff in this. But it was a pretty good movie. This was a fun movie, you know. It's not going to be like The Howling or anything, but this was good. This was Big Bad Wolf. Um, I like werewolf movies, so I didn't mind it at all. So, yeah, down to the last film. This one is a very rare movie, hard to find. Limited to like 4,000 copies. Goes for crazy money on eBay. And that is the Mill Creek double set of uh, Ice Cream Man and Jack Frost. Nah, I'm just being sarcastic. This movie was only like a dollar over at Fry's. Um, I haven't seen Ice Cream Man yet. I've seen it in other people's collections. I've just never got around to get in this movie, it was a double feature. Uh, Jack Frost 2 has been a while since I've seen that. It would have been awesome if uh, it was uh, Jack Frost 1 and 2. That would have been pretty cool. But yeah, this is just the Mill Creek set. It's uh, two movies on one disc. But yeah, that's going to be it for my horror haul of 2015 so far. I don't know when I'll be doing another one. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And... Peace out, everybody.